Christmas season can be pretty stressful and chaotic. There's shopping, traveling, decorating, and cooking. It can get so overwhelming that you forget you're actually supposed to enjoy the holiday. That's not going to happen to me this year. This year, I'm going to have the perfect Christmas. I've taken care of everything. Gifts for all family members and friends? Got them. Train to get home for December 22nd? Got it five months ago. Festive holiday sweater? Got it. Decorations, Christmas tree, stocking? Got it, got it, got it. Collection of Santa hats, just in case? Got it. And the piece de resistance, my Christmas party. The crown jewel of my holiday season. I have Christmas cookies, a perfectly curated Spotify playlist with a mix of holiday classics, old and new, and all the necessary food. Cheese plate, ham, and... Oh no! I forgot the cranberries! Well, if it isn't Miss Perfect Christmas. What do you need now? Cranberries. Where are the cranberries? You're looking for the cranberries? Haven't you heard? Cranberries are sold out at every store in the city. <laughs> Your Christmas is ruined! You lose! Yes, yes! This was supposed to be the perfect Christmas. With one thing missing, it all falls apart like a stale gingerbread house. If this is going to be the perfect Christmas, then I'll need to do just one last job. It's time to call in the team. There's the hacker, Vartox. The ballistics expert, Brock Bishop. The driver, Mac McQueen, a devil behind the wheel. And the man who can climb anything. Where's the man who can climb anything? His, uh, his head exploded. Damn, he would have been really useful. I've located one of the last packs of cranberries in New York City, and we've got to get it before it gets cooked. It's being held on the 21st floor of a building, behind a doorman, an elevator, and a locked door. I did recon over the past day. The apartment is occupied by a couple. They leave every day at 8.30 a.m. They work at different offices across the city. Usually, the woman is home by 5.50 and the man by 6.10. The apartment is empty during the day, but the doorman is on duty the entire time. He takes a five-minute poop break at 5.30, giving us a brief window to get in and out. I'll slip inside and get to the elevator. Once I get to the top floor, I'll enter the apartment, grab the cranberries, and get the hell out of there. Sounds like you can do this all yourself. What do you need us for? The most important part. You're going to handle the preparations for my Christmas party! We don't plan parties. I blow stuff up. They hack the systems that cannot be hacked. And I'm a devil behind the wheel. Not today. Vartox. You'll assemble the cheese plate. Mac. You're on decorations. And Brock. Sir? You have the most dangerous job of all. Wrapping the gifts. That doesn't sound very dangerous. I wasn't finished. We only have one roll of tape. I won't let you down. I was going to have the man who can climb anything bake cookies, but since he's not here, I called my high school BFF, Susie. Hey guys. Now hold up. I'm a ballistic expert. He's a hacker. Man's a devil behind the wheel. What does she do? Susie's really nice. That tracks. The operation starts at 1700 hours. Get your beauty sleep, ladies. Susie, I am so glad you can do this. It's seriously helping me out of a real jam. 
after the new year, I want to take you out for Manny Petties to repay you for this amazing Christmas miracle. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. like this is going to be the perfect Christmas after all. To you? She used the toothpick test? That's what I always do. I'm knee deep in this cheese plate. Is this too many cornichons? Can you have too many cornichons? Hey guys, do you know how to get the Christmas lights to stop blinking? do it every day. Honey, did you leave some of the cabinet doors open before you left for work this morning? What? No, of course not. Okay, well did you leave a half-eaten muffin on the counter? No, I would never. Wait, do you think there's been an intruder? Oh my 
in my home. <laughs> yes, it's me, Santa Claus. I hope you don't mind, but I was running short on cranberries for my Christmas feast, so I thought I'd borrow some from you fine folks. We don't mind at all. Santa, anything for you. You're a good man. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I've got to be going. Must make sure those elves are on track with their toy making. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Santa! <laughs> wow, a bona fide celebrity. thinner than I thought he'd be, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Santa? Oh, I've got to be honest. I'm not really Santa. My name is Gwen. I just... I really wanted cranberries. But instead of traveling out of state to buy a bag like a normal person, I was blinded by greed and decided to steal yours. But putting on that Santa suit embodying that beacon of generosity and selflessness, I realized how wrong I was. I finally understood the point of Christmas. I'm sorry. Uh, so please, take back your cranberries. I hope in the spirit of Christmas, you can forgive. Hello, police? My apartment's being robbed. Bushmoy. The party starts in five minutes and Gwen is still not back yet. What do we do? We do our jobs. Hey guys, come on in. Cookies just came out of the oven. Shoes off, please. I wanted to have the perfect Christmas, but I slipped up, got cocky. But once I get out of here, I'll do it right. Next time, I won't forget anything. Next time, I'll make sure Christmas is perfect. <laughs>